Hi everyone, I am Chad and welcome to today's episode of DB Watch. Today, I will talk about adding SQL Server and PostgreSQL database instance in DB Watch. Let us begin adding a SQL Server instance in DB Watch. To start off, select MS SQL Server button and add database instance. You have another option which is add database instance in bulk. It will guide you registering bulk instance from a prepared list in a spreadsheet or a CSV file. But for now, let's proceed adding a single database instance. In the group selection, pick whether the instance you will monitor is for development, test, or production. These groupings are the default. You can create any instance groups later on. In the text box, input your host name, backslash your database instance name. Input the port number of your database instance. In my case, I use the default port 1433 for SQL Server. We now need to specify user credentials with SA or sysadmin role. Select your authentication mode, whether SQL Server Authentication or OS Authentication. If you pick OS Authentication, that credential requires to be registered on your database instance with SA or sysadmin role. I will be using SQL Server Authentication. Input your credential. If you check the Management, SQL, and Properties option, it will be used as default for the logins. You can select Test Connection to check if your connection is good. Choose your display name for the instance that you want to monitor. On the second part, you have an option to install Advanced Monitoring. Installing Advanced Monitoring means that a DBWatch database will be created with the monitoring framework installed on the instance. The DBWatch installation consists of three components, the DBWatch Monitor, which is the front-end user interface, the DBWatch Server, which is the core business logic and central hub of the system, and the DBWatch Framework, where objects are stored in the registered database instance. It is composed of a set of tables and procedures that are required by advanced monitoring. Don't worry because this will hardly ever grow beyond one or two sessions and when the user is inactive for a while, sessions are terminated. This is the preferred way of dbwatch. It doesn't consume a huge disk space. This consumption will not be greater than 200 megabytes, but around 100 megabytes. If you select to install advanced monitoring, which is recommended by dbwatch, you can choose an existing database or have dbwatch create one for you. But if you select standard installation, it will not install anything on your instance. dbwatch will only have a select permission to gather the necessary data required for monitoring. Input your login credentials. It must have SA or sysadmin role. Pick details to change the name and default properties for this database. You can specify the location of your data file and log file. You can also set the initial data size and log size of your database. Select the tasks and alerts you wish to install. Some options will be pre-selected. These are the recommended settings for dbwatch installation. You can always add more checks and alerts later. Let's choose the default settings and continue. The instance will now be registered in dbwatch. We have successfully added a SQL Server instance. Up next is adding a PostgreSQL instance. Let's start adding a PostgreSQL database instance. To start, select PostgreSQL and select Add Database Instance. Specify the name you wish to identify this instance. Specify the group of your instance. You have an option whether to add the instance on your monitored list or just add the instance to manage it in dbwatch. The difference is that you have an option to exclude databases which you don't want to monitor and collect data but still want to add it so that you can manage the database using dbwatch management functionality. 
specify your hostname, input credentials with admin privileges, input the port number of your database instance, choose test connection, specify the database you wish to install dbwatch framework on, create new credential for the dbwatch database and schema, Select the tasks and alerts you wish to install. Again, some options will be pre-selected. These are the recommended settings for dbwatch installation. You can always add more checks and alerts later. Let's choose the default settings. The PostgreSQL database instance will now be registered. We have successfully added a PostgreSQL database instance. For more info, visit the website dbwatch.com. For more tutorials, visit wiki.dbwatch.com. And also, check out the YouTube channel dbwatch. Thank you for listening.